What's a rabbit? Salut mes petits lapins. So it's the fourth new moon and it's an earthing moon. It's a moon in Taurus and it's going to bring all those emotions that are up in the air, all those ideas, all those thoughts back down into the earth. So we're starting with the Rasuli deck to get an overall energy for each reading. It's a great moon. There's a lot of new, very, very cosmically beautiful things coming down with this moon. So what have you got going on? Rabbits, lapin. Oh, look at you. Ending of a trauma. Transform memories and symptoms. Okay. So everything has to change. This moon is about earthing new thoughts down. You're bringing them back down. All these swirling things that you've been looking at since this full moon in Libra that was part of the third uh, new moon energies. These big transformative changes. This was about endings. You're really ending a massive shift within you. And you're transforming your memories because they they belong to another age. The mirror's turned over now. They don't belong to you anymore. They're, they serve absolutely no purpose moving forward. Any of the things, the, the traumas. I know that there. Are, it's easy to say um, because there are awful things that people have had to witness, but the, the energies are changing and you will be given a chance to look at them later. But for the moment, it's the idea of just embracing the new frequencies and then there'll be a chance further forwards to go into the details of your traumas in a much more stable and comfortable and safe and warm environment, rabbits. So uh, let's go with these Wild Unknown Animal Oracle by Kim Kranz. So this is to give you a general energy. What's the general energy for the rabbits? Oh, that one skidded right over there. Oh, not even that, that's a pile of 10. You can have those ones and that one. So skidding over there in the year of the rat is the year of the rat himself. This is mouse energy. So mouse is it's about the changing of so many things on an absolutely microscopic and macroscopic level. Look, it is. It's all about, like, mm, uh, microscopic, going into the centre of everything to change everything. So, rabbits, rabbits, rabbits. This is very strange. I've shuffled and shuffled these, and yet these two cards came out with a third that's missing this time, but this is about earth and air. It's about you surviving anything, rabbits. You know, you've got a warren, you've got all those, um, you've got numerous places within the earth grid to run around in safely, and you always survive. A fox, wherever you leave it, country or town, will find a way to survive. You will survive. You know, your trauma ends when you realize you survive. You. You just take yourself away from the densities that have been making you molasses sticky and unable to move properly and just move. Let the trauma go. I, I know, there are real traumas that you just can't let go of. You get to process it later. Just let go of the energy of it for now because its frequency is acting as a blockage and I do know that's not easy. So, Rabbits. What does the tarot have to say? The cards are being read with reversals today. Oh, that's um. Gonna leave it like that and go with the first set. The Earth messages again. There's a lot of the cards are coming out upside down. The Earth. I'm going to show you all three of these together because actually they may as well just be their little story. The earth is coming into balance. 
with this justice card. Everything is being fixed. That's this create that's created this tower moment that just feels so totally like every single wall and boundary has been broken down. And then the earth is being this great comforter. The earth's frequencies, it's this is the card of undying motherly love and protection is what the earth is bringing to you rabbit to end this trauma and to just move you into total balance and then we have two cards one from the earth and one from spirit and it's interesting that this okay it's such perfect balance it's seven and eight of salt but one the seven comes from spirit which again has got your fox. This is you sitting below the thoughts that are no longer needed. This is the earth. Again, look, there's one sword, one notion, one notion. Your chrysalis is about to open like a flower and its energy as it opens is pushing away these other swords, okay? so. There's seven swords here and there's seven swords here. This one that you're sitting on becomes one all on its own when it releases all of these other ones. So there's uh, seven and six swords, which is 13 swords, divine feminine number to bring about the balance and that sense of survival, that sense of all the molecules being rearranged, bringing the energies together to bring out the energies. And then we end with two cards, the Son of Wands, which is coming from Spirit and Cosmos, and the Nine of Cups coming from the Earth. So this is this new frequency of thought Coming down, it's a, it's a fractal changed energy frequency that's changing the earth. And the earth is responding by offering to grant the cosmos its wishes. And the cosmos' wishes are that we all have our wishes. It's a, it, Cause it's a fractal energy. If the cosmos is shining down love and wonder into the earth grid the earth grid shining that back up but the the cosmos is also shining that same fractal frequency down on everything in the earth plane which includes all life us animals plants everything gets it gets its wishes and most things just want to live in peace at their core energy frequency so we have, mm -hmm. it does say to me, you see, it's very odd, but the, the, I would have turned an earth card, but they're telling me actually that the message of this needs to come from the, the cosmic deck, not the earthing deck. So there you go, two cards. So rabbits, what do you have? 443 or four four three four depending on how you want to look at it so you have desire to change um to end this trauma you have to desire the change you have to want to awaken your spirit to its connection to the earth and that is the important part none of this happens without the connection to the earth the ending of the trauma is when you for, you can forgive all the things that brought you to this point because they brought you to this point so that you could achieve something amazing, not so that you could just worry and drag that trauma with you. It ends the trauma and you awaken your spirit and it's achieved through compassion. And this compassion frequency is being delivered to you now from the natural world to connect you to that cosmic one heart, the, the, but the, the two, this lotus in her hand, which is the cosmic lotus, is not the driving force in your frequency. It's the driving force in the Earth's frequency, but it's the Earth responding to that that drives that force within you. So it's beginning to build a much better connection.
So rabbits, end the trauma and shine and uh, find the earth love um, so that you can connect with spirit better. Wassail.